Hello guys, so um, uh, today I'm going to show you how to actually um, have the RESX files to be run in your Xamarin Forms uh, project. So before to have this done, I actually had um, uh, MV MVVM Cross uh, helping me to do this. So essentially with MVVM Cross, actually the, um, uh, that was the uh, foundation for all of my uh, project prior to the Xamarin 3. So uh, really, uh, to, um, I, I was uh, actually uh, uh, been researching into uh, how to uh, make my UI files, you know, the XAML, the XML, and as well as the uh, uh, iOS um, CS uh, UI file um, to be uh, translated into Xamarin form since it's a, a, a really neat um, UI uh, structure that they have um, just released. So, um, so the first problem I, I came uh, upon is uh, there's not really a localization, um, uh, you know, description online, uh, at least that I know of. So um, today uh, I have been researching into the RESX files and I just kind of demo it to you guys here. So the uh, name it localization form. Alright. So uh, MVVF uh, cross uh, and does this uh, binding via the RESX file really uh, 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 it's really simple. So um, I, I test it on the project that combined bo both Xamarin Form and uh, MVVM Cross, and realized that to to in incorporate this into Xamarin Form, you don't actually need MVVM Cross. So uh, I'm gonna demo it to you the one with uh, just Xamarin Form. Right. Uh, okay. So we are waiting for the Xamarin Form PCL to start. I'm using the PCL. Professional uh, 2012. Yeah, maybe there be some kind of problems uh, in, in my 2013. Not not problems because my 2013 I, I didn't have my um, reshuffler installed on top. Of it. Okay, so now you have this um, you have this um, regular template for Xamarin form. So right now, yes, you can see. Um, okay, let's let's try to uh, let's try to actually just run an example. Um, Windows Phone. Okay. So as you guys can see here, I um, I have two emulators running. So uh, one on the right with the English, and the left one with the uh, Vietnamese. As you guys you guys can see, you guys can see the. Uh, the Vietnamese words um, being uh, on the UI. Okay, so uh, this is the regular hello forms uh, as uh, expected from the uh, default uh, Xamarin form project. So uh, let's now uh, try to create the resources, uh, uh, the RESX files. So one note is that um, uh, as one of my habits is uh, to have the um, localization inside the resources folder. But uh, for some reason, uh, when I've been naming this uh, and using it, uh, using it as a uh, uh, namespace for the RSX file, it, uh, the IntelliSense or even the uh, compiler wouldn't recognize whatever is inside this uh, resources uh, folder probably a crash in the namespace or something. So I just gonna name it uh, app resources um, and I'm gonna create um, two RESX files. So the first one would be um, resource so because I name it app resources it would be weird if I name it the same Let's say it is a localization resource. All right. Um, okay. So 
um, this is the first one. And, um, uh, normally for Windows Phone, you, you would need a couple of uh, default strings for it to work. So let's go to Windows Phone. You see those two tap outside of uh, Control V and you have those. Okay, so I'm gonna name an actual thing that would be something and I, um, a key something and the value is a key SDH and the value is something. And always remember to uh, put public on your RESX file. So uh, now I'm gonna add the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna control A, control C, and add the same thing for Vietnamese files. Right. Oops, uh, wrong, okay. It should be in. Da, da, da. Okay, it should be, uh, sorry, in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Should be in app resources. Uh, app resources. So the new item that would be resources file. And remember to have your uh, file to be the same as your specific app. I assume that this is. That is the uh, postfix for uh, Vietnamese. And, and okay. So I have that. I change to this. Okay. And uh, say something. Uh, sorry, something in Vietnamese. So for for. Um, for culture in English, uh, for, for phone culture in English, I should say something, and for Vietnamese, I should say something in Vietnamese. Yeah. Okay, um, so I have those two files, and now I, I just want to put them here. Right? The label uh, and call it uh, localization. Oh. That's simple. And uh, over here, you are over in Windows Phone. You have resources and delete it. And also delete it. because you you want your Windows Phone uh, to, um, and other projects to actually have only one resource file, right? Um, okay. So uh, as for Windows Phone, if I build it, I should expect some errors because I just deleted the resources. Once. With this, I should see at the bottom. So um, I should say localization resources. Uh, okay. And localization resources. Okay. So I have those there. Now I'll simply run. Second, just to here. Uh, say it's localized uh, strings. Uh, yes, correct. And say it's public. And say it's private. new localization resources and the uh, a little bit of care. Uh, 
So let's open the couple of files and I can say project lab and that I'm doing right now. And you should have the localized streaming file in and the game files. It's, it's the same thing, uh, really. Okay, there you go. Alright, I remember now. Okay, those in. Um, so in case that you know you don't know where to find these, um, it's the um, couple of files that I just deleted in the Windows Phone. Just go there, have a look at the localized string class over there, and uh, you you should be able to use them um, in your um, in in the uh, Xamarin form shared uh, project. Okay. So I have those it just formatted, and it should be able to run now. Space. Oh yeah, the main space is um, have to update it to the uh, have to update it. This should be alright now. Mm. Okay, it's app resources. Actually. Yeah, sometimes sometimes Zam will just uh, give us uh, weird error. Okay, so yes, yeah, you can see here uh, I have a something on my uh, phone and let's try to test it on the uh, Vietnamese culture phone. Not showing. Of course, it's not showing. Why? Because in Windows Phone, if you want it to show, you have to go to Properties and you have to add the language in it. Um, it would, mm, you scroll down to Vietnamese. Really. Yes, something in Vietnamese. That is wonderful. And go. Okay, so I have those two phones. Uh, <clears throat> one, one is uh, this shows in Vietnamese, uh, and this should. And uh, those are the Windows Phone um, IES Act. So really, what is special about it uh, is uh, you're able to create uh, strings and be able to uh, maintain it really easily with this uh, UI. And also, you can use the multi, uh, what do you call it, uh, the multi-lingual uh, uh, toolkit uh, from Microsoft that able to translate all of these keys into another language. Um, like Dutch something, you select one and it generates uh, automatically for you the RSX file in that language and you are able to, uh, and it will um, translate it using the Bing translator for every key. Okay, so back, okay, something. This call is English uh, cultured. All right, so that is for Windows Phone. And now let's go test the Android to see if it actually works. Uh, yes. So I have the, the uh, uh, emulator running here, and I have put it into uh, Vietnamese already. Ooh, come on. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So um, it is running. Yeah, no 
always had a good mind for this. I need to go back and forth. Uh, I see those. I have a lot of solutions for them. Hmm. If only the okay. if only the emulator here in Android is as fast as the uh, uh, Windows phone. As you see here, as uh, is the uh, the uh, hmm. the Android phone has Vietnamese, so it's showing some. Uh, it's showing the string in Vietnamese. So if I put it back to um, if I put it back to English, all right? Come on. Okay. So I'm going to use load. Load Okay. I'm going to setting. Set it back to the NMB. So that would be somewhere somewhere here. Okay. And So I put it into. Uh, okay. If you if you change it and your app is still run in the app background, uh, it's it's not going to um, uh, switch switch the string. So I think I should delete my the background here. Okay. So it's like As you would have guessed, it would show something that is the English strings for Android English coded phones. Come on. Alright, so the second time it starts quicker. Uh, Alright, there you go. So, uh, that is a short um, tutorial about how to uh, include your RES X files into your, your Xamarin Phones project. I don't have my Mac here, so I can test whether it works on iOS. It's really, I, I just got it down uh, um, just an hour ago. <laughs> so um, I, was, uh, I was asked to uh, give a, a short tutorial about it. So uh, here you go. The iOS, I assume, would be uh, straightforward. And just as this, well, um, I, I, will put it, uh, I will put this uh, um, example on GitHub. And yeah, uh, on my quest towards uh, converting my existing project from MVVM Cross uh, to uh, Xamarin Forms Free, uh, stay tuned for um, the coming tutorials about it.